Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Jersey Music and Video Spotlight. There we are. Um, I'm Tommy Patillo, along with Mr. Walt Gondler, who's going to be my co-host. For very the show. busy, very busy right now. He uh, he dropped everything on the I floor. I didn't drop floor it. Somebody to... pushed it. Don't make me look clumsy. Here. <laughs> on the show today, we have uh, a fabulous group called the Sentimental Reason, and uh, they'll be joining us shortly. Right now, though. Uh, or rather, after break, we're coming back with uh, Mr. Walt Gallander and uh, some of his uh, 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 tapes from his archives with regards to what? The Frankie Valley. Frankie and the Valley. Four Lovers and the four on the Ed Sullivan Show. Right. May of 1956. I can't wait. I know. I'm so busy doing this right Go now. ahead. Take care of that. <laughs> so stay right there. We're coming right back in a little while. Come back with us. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Uh, we have with us uh, a plethora, a as plethora. you would say, of Frankie Valley memorabilia, albums a and myriad, pictures. And uh, since Tony Valley couldn't join us today, who does backstage with Tony Valley here at the Jersey Spotlight, and uh, that's, uh, of course, uh, uh, Frankie's daughter, uh, we thought we'd bring in all this memorabilia. So uh, let's kick it off with uh, some of the great pictures that you brought along. Uh, I brought some very rare items to salute albums, me yes. and her illustrious, legendary dad, but mm -hmm. uh, we have to go on without her. Now, of course, the, the Four Seasons were originally... The Four Lovers. The Four Lovers. And before that, they were the Variatones, and in 1953, the Variety Trio with Tommy DeVito and a few of the boys from Newark. So and they were right from uh, Nutley. Silver Frankie Lake, lived in Nutley. Silver Lake. Silver Lake, and then Stephen Crane Village, where mm -hmm. Frankie and his mother and Bobby lived all those years. Right. Until the mother passed. Now, out. what is this picture we're looking at, Walter? We're looking at a 1956 publicity shot of the four lovers, as you would have seen in the nightclubs of Newark, where mm -hmm. they worked. The next four pictures were pasted up in the windows in the days when nightclubs used to have glossy photos in those good old days. Aggie's Park Manor. Aggie's would be. Park Manor, the silhouette, the Venetian, <laughs> uh -huh. the Shea Charles, the Broadway Lounge. Okay, now let's go on. Let's move right, on to some of right. these pictures that How's you have that? here. Similar. You have Nicky DeVito, Hank Majewski, Hank Majestic, Frankie Valley, and the they legendary. All look very young there. That's uh, 54, you around that area? 56. 56. Tommy DeVito. Uh -huh. That is the front of the famous Joyride album, which today. Sells for go. about $500. Really? Yes. That was the original 12-inch on RCA, the Joyride album. Mm -hmm. Here we have the basic headshot of the four lovers from 1956. Hank Majewski, Nicky DeVito, who went out to Vegas. That's right. Tommy's older brother, and of course, Frankie Valley, right. brother of Bobby Valley, who you know. Now, who wrote most of their songs, by the way? I don't know. Was it Gordio? In, uh, no, not, no, not at this time. Oh. At this time, well, here, you can glance at the booklet. All the songs at the time were written by industry writers. It was later uh -huh. when they become the Four Lovers okay. into the Four Seasons that Gordio comes in. Right. And that's when all the hits come, Gordio and crew. Okay. But at this time, it was just anybody who wrote a song that he could schmooze into the recording session. Right, right. I wonder how many albums they put out. I mean, there that's are the literally... Lovers. That's a budget the albums. Album. That's a budget I mean, let's album. Let's take a look at some of these albums that... Uh these gentlemen recorded throughout the years, I, I, I would say that he probably has some kind of um, a record for uh, the most songs recorded next to Elvis Presley, wouldn't you say? Not only that, Tom, uh, the, the Four Seasons were the only group that was able to weather the onslaught of the Beatles, Miss Kathy. When, when the Beatles attacked America, uh, the Four Seasons were able to stay on the charts, and that's uh -huh. a tremendous compliment to them. Everybody else was knocked to heck. Here we go. But the Four Seasons continued. That's why that Beatles versus the Four Seasons VJ album is worth mucho dinero today. Are any of these albums worth uh, a plenty, few? Uh, plenty. <laughs> Let me know which one before I you point them out. <laughs> okay, well, we pretty much showed them on the air here. Um, Continue on with some of those pictures, though. You have... Okay. Uh, Who do we have here? Well, that's, of course, uh, Jerry Polci, who is a longtime drummer with Frankie Valli, and uh, he uh, also is Tony's husband now. Right. Tony Valley's husband. Tony Valley Polci. Yeah, Tony, say that again. Tony Valley Polci. Sounds good. Doesn't it? And he also is singing on Oh, What a Night. That's right. Late December. That is right. That's the voice you hear on Oh, What a Night. All right. Went to Montclair State, by the way, the same as I did. I don't want to... 
Here you have three great lead singers. Three great lead singers in their day. We have up on the top the legendary Teddy Randazzo. You know the hits that he's written for Little Anthony. Next to him, of course, is Frankie Valli. And they were producing Jay Black, Jay Black of the Short Hair, for Morris Levy's Roulette Records years ago. So that's an in-office in shot at Morris Levy's office. Mm -hmm. The record didn't do too much because no matter how many great minds you put together at that time in music, to no avail. The business had changed, as we all know, unfortunately. And uh, I think okay, we have a rare... See? How many people have seen Frankie Valli with a mustachio? That's You're not going to see that shot. anywhere. Mm -hmm. That was during the mustache period. Uh-huh. But that would be what? 68? 69, 70s probably, the early 70s when all the uh, mod stuff came out. I really don't, the, I don't know. That's one answer I don't know. And well, I'm find ashamed. out. I mean, you're supposed to be up on all this information. This, I don't know the answer to. The I one question I ask him, he can't answer. I don't know everything, Tom. <laughs> Look at this. Go ahead. Great lead singers, Jay Black and Frankie Valli. Mm -hmm. Is that nice? Who still performs today, by the yes. way. Jay Black is still on the circuit. And now... Beautiful shot of 1973. We have here the very talented Bob Gordio. On the left. On the left, we have Frankie Valley, Dimitri Callas, who is no longer with us. He was shipped back to Baltimore one night at the Capitol Theater doing a little falling out. And of course, our dear friend Joe Labratio. Uh huh. Joe Long. Okay. Anything else you want to show us before we go to break? You think the folks would like to see how a four color Pictures put together? Back in the days of old. All right. Before computers. You start with this. Okay. Gee, Walt, that's a wonderful picture. I wonder how they came about to make a picture such as this. You're wondering, Tom, how a color picture is put together. I'm right? curious. How curious are you? Yellow. Okay. Turn that around. <laughs> yeah. Now, that's what you would get in the record stores. But as we were discussing with Muggsy before, that starts out like this. What do you see there? White, 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 nothing but white. But as you turn over each of the primary colors, does an image start to appear? Uh-huh. And this is the way it was done. Are we huh? getting this out there? Very interesting. But they Something. don't do it anymore, you told me. Uh, well, it's all done computer, on computer today. This is Everything no is anymore? Uh, I guess, uh, you know. Yep, get rid of it. And on that note, <laughs> we're going to take a commercial break. We got to pay the bills. All right. All right. You want to say anything before we go to break? I think I've said too much already. I think you have already. We have with us sentimental reasons. They're going to come back and sing a whole bunch of songs for us. So stay right there yeah, with yeah. us. They're over there. Come back. We need your support. Please. See you later. Okay, welcome back to the Jersey Music and Video Spotlight. New Jersey's only music television show dedicated to rhythm and blues, doo-wops, you know what? Acapella, and what else? Soul. You should know that by now. I'll quiz you on that next week. We're featuring uh, Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons, who originally started out as the Four Lovers. Mr. Walk Islander brought along a, uh, a video of, of them as the Four Lovers, 1956. Set this up. I understand there was a... Uh, an interesting story with regards to the famous songwriter, uh, uh, Mr. What was his name? Greer. <laughs> Otis Black. Otis Black. Uh, well, there you go. <laughs> I, I was telling you some of the story in the limousine coming down to the studio today. Uh, for those of you out there who are Four Lovers fans, uh, Otis Blackwell had written a song called "All Shook Up," obviously, and at the at the time, the publisher wants to shop the song to the hottest act. So right. Elvis Presley was hot at the time. So Otis Blackwell was supposed to give the song to the Four Lovers, who had not been established yet in 56. And he gave it to Elvis Presley, and he then owed the Four Lovers a song from his style, which is funky, you know, R&B kind of thing. And he wrote, You're the Apple of My Eye. And it was like a B song, and we're going to see that B song. So they got second best here, unfortunately. And it was a big hit in New York. Uh, Alan Freed and Murray the K played it, but didn't go beyond the Hudson River, so mm -hmm. to speak. Okay, let's roll the tape. The Four Lovers, 1956. Hey, gentlemen, here on stage with me are four youngsters 
who have just made two terrific records for RCA Victor. They call themselves the Four Lovers, and this is to satisfy the youngsters who say that I don't get the type of music youngsters want. This is more a little in the rock and roll vein. The Four Lovers and the Apple Number. Now, boys, take it. Okay, Frankie Valley and the Four Lovers. That's rare stuff. Rare stuff, rare stuff. We're coming back with sentimental reasons, so stay right there. Okay, our featured group on the show uh, this evening is a group called Sentimental Reasons, and they're uh, I, well, they're from all over, they say, but I guess home base would be uh, Long Island, guys? Long no. Island, Jersey City. Jersey City, all right, you guys are from all over. You're. <laughs> What's the first song you're going to do for us? All right, so initially we'd like to open up with a song known as Sentimental Reasons, what we're all about. Good choice, very good. Have a nice hand for hey. Sentimental Reasons, folks. that 
Fantastic. Yeah, All right, real, real quick, gentlemen, let, let us have your names, please. Mike Mastroli. Ma Mike? From Palmer, New Jersey. Okay. Russ Connie, originally Brooklyn, New York. Russ? New York, New Jersey. We could hear that. Right. Joey Campion, Lindsay, New Jersey. All right. South Portland, Long Island, originally from the Bronx. Very good. George Nielsen, Pumpkin Lakes. George, bass. There you go. Yeah. All right, uh, let's keep it rolling. What, uh, what's the next song you're going to do? All right, we'd like to slow it down originally. Uh, recorded. Uh, by the Desires, a song known as Let It Please Be You. Great, great. Nice song. Okay, That's great song. Great hey, song. great song. One of the best Nice hand for sentimental reasons, please. we have left four minutes oh we got plenty of time all right uh, I, i'd like to know how long has this group been together 18 months, maybe. Yeah, 18 months. 18 months. kind of might sound for 18 months you plan on doing any recordings or uh we're right in the middle of uh two cds okay a record label by a gentleman named dick Plotkin from scranton wonderful pennsylvania okay have you done anything over at the ugha uh, with uh, yeah, Ronnie we sang, I? We oh, sang sure. at the Lead East. We sang over there with Twice Guys. Yeah, we sang uh, a couple times. Great, Audition, great. Okay. Those, good friends of ours. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, would you... Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. hard to that. do. Yeah, yeah. That, it's, it's a great group. Um, fantastic. Great guy. Yeah. How about doing another song while we still have some sure. time? So, okay. Absolutely. What's that going to be? Uh, all right, uh, we'll keep it nice and mellow. Originally uh, recorded uh, by the Knockouts, Darling Lorraine. Oh, Dang. great. Okay. Yeah. Bob DeAndre. Sentimental reason.
great job. Nice. Sentimental nice. reasons. Nice. Very good. Fantastic. Good. All right, I want to thank you fellas thank for you. being here on the show. My pleasure. Thank Hope you. to see you again and wish you all the best of luck. Thank Walter, you. thanks for being here with Beautiful. your archives Beautiful. and uh, got some bringing uh, some great... Uh, Great pictures and albums. Yeah, there's more to come. We'll see you again real soon. Who's going to clean up the floor, though, after all <laughs> Not that? me, brother. <laughs> all right, we'll see you all again real soon. Bye, everybody. Hi, we're the Escorts, and you're watching Jersey Spotlight. Yes. Yeah.